Yes, for the last time, electric vehicles are better for the environment than gas vehicles, okay? I know we like to have a little snarky internet comments where someone actually found out something else because you're charging your car from home and your house may be powered by a coal power plant, but that does not instantly make it exactly the same as a gas vehicle, okay? There's way more variables than that, and I think people oversimplify it a lot, which is why I'm incredibly grateful that Tesla came forward with their impact report and showcased how so many of these myths are false and how Tesla has produced much more energy than they've caused as well as showcased in this report the differences between how much emissions require into the manufacturing of a gas vehicle versus an electric vehicle and how that changes over the life of the car. So this is a very important point because there's still a lot of people out there that say well harvesting batteries it's not great for the environment you have to tear up the ground and those bulldozers and those machinery that have to transport the materials to build the batteries as well as all the water consumed in battery production. All of these things are bad for the environment. And while it is true that not every single aspect of producing an electric vehicle is 100% clean and 100% renewable and totally friendly to the environment, over the life of the car, I think, is what needs to be emphasized a little bit more. So Tesla brought up in this report how with the production of electric vehicles getting more and more cleaned, more and more streamlined, we're getting to the point now where the emissions caused of producing an electric vehicle are getting closer closer and closer to that of the emissions caused from a typical gas vehicle. They're pretty close as is, but the giant amount of emissions that are not just bad for the environment, but also bad for our own personal health is prolonged for the life of the gas car, where it's not really such a case with the electric car. Because when you're designing motors and designing vehicles to run off of electricity and you want to prolong range, they have to be so much more energy efficient compared to the internal combustion engine, because there's a whole lot of energy built up in gasoline. And yes, that's how it can transport us through vehicles vehicles, but so much of that energy is wasted through the combustion process, and that's why we have exhaust pipes that are literally pumping toxic fumes into the atmosphere all around us all the time, and we've just kind of accepted it and lived with it because that's the way we live, you know? That's the way it's been for decades, so why change it, right? When in reality, the fact of the matter is, even if your house is 100% powered by coal and you're charging your vehicle at home, at least the pollution is centralized. The power plant has a few giant smokestacks wherever that power power plant is, and we can transport that energy via power line to all of the different houses that that power plant is around. Not quite the same thing if we're pumping gasoline into each individual vehicle, which is driving down our residential streets, driving by our schools, by our businesses, each one of them pumping out toxic fumes that causes lung issues and impacts our air quality that we're constantly breathing in. In other words, the amount of emissions caused by a power plant are much less than that per mile than it is filling up a gas car. So that's how you're able to see with these charts that even when you're charging your Model 3 from the grid, because of course in these situations we're not even considering the fact that renewable energy is on the rise and there's more and more adoption of it across the country and across the globe, which of course means far less emissions because we can collect energy now through renewable sources, whether it be wind, solar, hydro, there's all kinds of implementations going across the globe. And when you're charging your car that way, I think that's obviously best case scenario. And Tesla is showcasing how that's becoming more popular. That's become Coming more possible and Elon himself has even brought up that renewables are slowly surpassing coal anyway. So best case scenario there's a lot of people with solar roofs now and Tesla is rapidly implementing that across the country and trying to become a solar provider in Europe as well based on what leaks and rumors we're hearing about the United Kingdom's Gigafactory. But they're showcasing here in the U.S. that they can produce far more energy from their solar deployments than the energy they consume to produce the electric vehicles which ultimately means win-win for the environment, win-win for for the globe and that means a whole lot of cars driving on the road today that are completely powered by the sun which is crazy to think about but makes a whole lot of sense if you consider that there's so much energy we're getting hit from by the sun every single day why not harvest it and use it for things that we have to do anyway like you know transport so if there's people in your personal life like there are in mine that think well you're charging the electric car from the coal powered plant so it's really not much better than gas I encourage you to inform them of Tesla's impact report and showcase how the amount of emissions caused by a gas car, the longer you drive it, can be much more than double the energy consumption of an electric car, even factoring in the emissions caused during the manufacturing process, because it's a very common myth. It's very popular for people to criticize electric vehicles and battery packs, which Tesla showcased in their impact report, how they're recycling those battery packs. They're not just taking old Tesla batteries and throwing them out back. They're going to reuse the materials for second life use cases and for energy storage of residential and commercial use. And in 
that way make the most out of all the materials they have and of course try to redesign the batteries going into electric vehicles to be as cobalt free as possible they're already starting to implement some of the lithium iron phosphate batteries in the chinese made model threes which are cobalt free they're less energy dense but the cars are still performing pretty great range they're just a little bit heavier and of course that means less cobalt has to be mined which of course is a controversial mineral because expensive and of course limited in supply so as tesla is redesigning batteries and it sounds like the battery supply issue has been somewhat fixed as they're entering tesla semi volume production they know what they're doing here okay and that means that the sooner we can get more electric vehicles on the road the better for all of us thank you all for watching hope you have an excellent day take care